Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another Watson Brothers video. This month we are here to discuss the stats, which were quite brilliant for July 2021. Ian, start it off as you always do. We're actually going to spend a fair amount of time talking about the numbers this month because they actually, uh, there is a change. And the change, we believe, is something that we had seen coming for a while, but we want to explain to you what it's going to mean moving forward. So you're going to, you're going to see the single family home market apparently off by 30% is what the stats are going to say versus uh, the same month year ago. And while that may be true, there are a lot of reasons why that is happening. Uh, the first of all that we are thankful that it is not happening is because the government did not intervene with any onerous programs to curtail the hot housing market. And this is Kelowna, but it's also true throughout the country that the real estate market is on fire. However, this past month, sales were off 30% versus a year ago. So that 30% means that obviously there are 30% less homes sold than versus a year ago. But if you remember a year ago, we had just come out of COVID and the market was on fire and exploded. The numbers that we have right now suggest that there were 236 home sales last month. However, when you look and you see how many homes were actually for sale, there was only 485 homes for sale. So roughly 50% of the single family homes that were for sale in Kelowna sold. So what does that mean? That means that there are not as many home sales going through because there simply are not many homes to sell. And there's a number of reasons for that. One is the, the amount of land that's available to build on in Kelowna is reduced. The second is that there are fewer buyers out there right now looking because they've given up. They're just not in the market anymore. We also can know that the cost of construction is going up and the supply of both labor and material is, drop, is, is, um, is dropping. So with all of those things in place, the number of homes that are physically for sale and being replaced on the market is down and therefore there's less to buy. And what does that mean? That means that the buyers that are in market are fighting for those very slim pickings of houses, which has pushed the average single family home price to over $1 million. I'll apologize on behalf of my brother for using the term on fire during these current conditions. Sure. It's hot, Ian, the market is hot. Ian's touched on a lot of good points there, and I just want to give you a real life example. It's driving by a house in Glenmore, nice home, good street, just listed over a million dollars, and it literally looked like a garage sale going on. There was constant cars there, showings were going on. Uh, when it did sell, I followed up with the listing realtor just to see how the process went. Over 80 showings. Uh, you can argue that there's going to be a lot of people there that just said, wow, look at the activity here. I'm just not even going to participate in this. 22 offers written, one winner. What that means is there's 21 other buyers that were turned away that are now back out in the marketplace with over a million dollars in their pocket that want to buy a home. And this scenario is going on street after street after street on the good streets with buyers going into multiple offers. All these people want homes, properties, place to hang their hat, and they come in second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way down to 21st position. And Ian, this is what's driving the market is the demand. And we're seeing those prices hold increasing for those reasons, because the demand is astronomical. It's just a flat out hot market still. Last month, Barrett, we talked about the single family home sales, but let's talk about townhomes and apartments because they too are a good barometer of where the market is going. Last month, there were 100 townhomes sold in, uh, in the Kelowna market and there were 385 for sale. So roughly, give or take the math, one, one in three townhomes are selling. There is almost no inventory again for townhomes and that has pushed up the price year over year, almost 25% in the townhome market. The average townhouse is now worth almost $680,000. If you move to the apartment market, they're up 23% to $434,000. Again, because there were 177 sales and not much inventory. It's the same pattern. And that's why Barrett and I are very comfortable that this is not a correction. This is not a slowdown. It is simply a lack of inventory. If prices remain strong and continue to rise, which they are, we will see uh, people fighting over houses. We will see people trying to get the best property they can for their money. Meanwhile, their money is buying less and less as they go further into this market. We need to see the average sale price drop. We need to see inventory increase and we have to see prices drop before you could say it's a cooling market. We haven't seen 
only one of those three factors happen. And Ian, that's just something that's going to continue for the rest of the summer and into the fall. And that's our prediction. So uh, last month, we said average sale price would be over a million dollars. And we are. And on that note, Barrett, that's a great point you make. And it really emphasizes the fact that you need an experienced real estate team working on your side. When you head into negotiations for a contract on a house, you want to make sure you get it and you give yourself the best possible chance to get that property. If you found it and you want it, you need a team behind you that can get it for you. And Barrett and I have been at this over 25 years each, and we bring to the table all that negotiating skills and the relationships we have with the other agents. We get the houses first, we find out about it, and then we're able to negotiate a deal that works best for our clients. If you need any help with real estate, feel free to give us a call anytime, 250-712-2222.